I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been very critical of my favorite games. The reason why is because whenever I'm negative about a game, it kinda makes me dislike the game more, when in reality, I didn't really have to dislike the game more at all. But I will make an exception for Tears of the Kingdom because I think it's one of the greatest games ever made. And unless you've played for a while, it's kinda harder to spot the negatives in this game compared to other games. But a couple days ago, one of my friends said this, TOTK is kinda boring, not gonna lie. It's a good game, but I don't have much fun with it. It's just Breath of the Wild with a few different things. When I first looked at this, I didn't think much of it, but after I thought about it for a while, it kinda made sense what he was saying. Now I do disagree that Tears of the Kingdom is just Breath of the Wild with a few different things, but I can completely understand why he could feel like that, because the fact of the matter is, Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild are essentially the same game. Tears of the Kingdom is just a sequel, but in the same exact world, with the same exact mechanics. And this all made me think about one thing. Tears of the Kingdom does not feel very fresh. When I say Tears of the Kingdom doesn't feel very fresh, I mean it doesn't feel very new, which is why the thumbnail is what it is. I have a lot of hours in Breath of the Wild and I never really took a break from it because I always made videos on it, and one of the things that happened is that I got completely burnt out with the game, and as soon as I moved on to Tears of the Kingdom, it did not feel very new. It was fun, and I liked that there were new things to do, it definitely wasn't as fun as playing Breath of the Wild for the first time. The thing is, is that I thought I wasn't enjoying Tears of the Kingdom as much because I was already burnt out with the mechanics in Breath of the Wild, but I actually think it's something a little different. The performance and the graphics. Okay, so we already know that the performance isn't very good, and yeah, I, I, we should have really expected this when we figured out that they were going to triple the size of Breath of the Wild's map, and the graphics are still not very good. Like, for example, if I literally just look at Link and stand still, I can literally count the pixels on him. Like, he should not look like this. Even though Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild are still really pretty games, their graphics and performance are not very good. I've seen a lot of times where in sequels they kind of improve the graphics and the performance, and they didn't do that in Tears of the Kingdom. Why? Because they couldn't. It's on a Nintendo Switch. They still somehow made it playable, which is really impressive, but I'm sure that was a big turnoff for people that have already played Breath of the Wild. I've heard rumors that the next console for Nintendo is going to be as powerful as the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One, and then we'll be able to play Zelda in 60 FPS. But for now, we can't unless you want to emulate the game, and I'm not going to go into that because I don't want Nintendo to hate me. I usually like to say that Tears of the Kingdom fixed all of Breath of the Wild's mistakes. This was the one that it didn't fix and couldn't fix. Before I end the video, I just want to say that this isn't really a critique of Tears of the Kingdom itself, it's more of a critique of the Nintendo Switch and the hardware that it uses. I've just never seen a game so big lag on its own console that much, and I think that this is a pretty good sign that Nintendo needs to upgrade to a different console, just as long as it's not a Switch 2 because that's a bad idea.